Hello everybody, my name is Olivier Legrand, I'm the Managing Director of LinkedIn in Asia Pacific and I've had the privilege to participate to a hackathon with Microsoft called AI for Accessibility. And this is where I met these two gentlemen who were competing and pitching their idea. Do you guys want to quickly introduce yourself? Thank you, Olivier. So we are from Zopa. My name is Roy and this is my colleague Vishnu. We are both data scientists in Zopa. Zopa is a startup which is focusing on improving the recruitment and employee uh, experience in the whole HR domain. And we try to empower this process using AI technologies such as uh, natural language processing and video analytics, which uh, can give a better understanding and also a bit of better kind of a evaluation of every improvement process. So at LinkedIn, our vision is to create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. So obviously this hackathon you know, hit close to home for me. And so there was part of your project that was really around this notion of creation of a virtual mentor. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought it was really exciting how you were using technology to actually coach people through an interview process. And particularly, uh, I think you were focusing on people with autism. Can you talk a little bit about yeah, this Yeah, so when we first started, uh, we came up with the idea. We were focusing more on people with general social anxieties, not uh, people with autism per se. But then once we uh, conversed with the behavioral therapist from SG Enable, uh, we got a better understanding of the problem that it's more about people with autism and hence we had to change our solution uh, to, uh, to pitch a virtual mentor to help uh, the people with autism. So that was the plan. So what kind of technology are you using to make it happen for, for the magic to happen? Well, um, actually, thanks to the Microsoft Cognitive Services, we have uh, tried to blend all different kinds of cognitive service and technologies together to give a thorough solution. So we break into three stages. The first part is how to encourage people to start talking, which we try to use this kind of chatbot to be more personalized topics chatting and try to have a, a image kind of process so that they can be like talking to a normal human they can start to be feel comfortable on the platform. So that's the first stage. The next part is try to give them a education or try to get them to practice their user their behavior, which are going to use, for example, some kind of eye tracking, body movement, and their tone analysis, so that they can understand how to behave during their chat or during their speech. And the last part is about how we can improve, further enhance their content in their speech, so that when they try to get interview in a, for a job, or they try to communicate with the future colleagues, they can be more on the spot, so they can be well conversed with other people. So one of the reasons I was so glad you guys were selected in the, in the finalist team is because a lot of what you're saying uh, really brought it home with a program that we have at LinkedIn called LinkedIn Coaches, where we are basically connecting people from all walks of life, uh, people with disabilities sometimes, some, sometimes people that have been you know retrenched in, in their work and that are trying to get back into the workplace. And we use uh, some of our employees, but also uh, employees from other company, and we connect them to get a coaching, basically, or get a mentor. Okay. And so the idea of your bot as a way to scale an initiative like that, and potentially connect this back to LinkedIn to do actually real, you know, people mentorship matching at, at the back of it, was was really exciting. So do you think you know that's the direction that the project could be taken? Certainly, certainly, I and mean, yeah. we are excited to, to you know. Uh, well. I'm, I'm equally excited to see you, um, you guys, you know, developing your idea further now that you've been selected as a finalist and, uh, you know, whenever you guys are ready, um, I'd be really happy to engage with you on how we get more involved and connect this with our LinkedIn coaches programs. Sure. I think sure. this help, this can be really applicable to different situations for different people, everybody in fact. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.